Okay, sorry it took a while. I was making that tea that you wanted or whatever. I don't really know how to make tea. This mug is empty like usual because you're not here. But here you go. Pretend you're drinking tea or whatever. I'm so glad you took part in the very light and casual cosplay cosplay theme we have going on. I was supposed to be some kind of like elf person girl, but the ears that I bought, um, I lost the glue, so I can't wear my elf ears. I tried with other adhesives and it didn't work, uh, so I'm not an elf, but I still have the hat and that's it. And I can see that you also did a little closet cosplay, I guess. I'm assuming you're dressed as like a jester or something. I like your pants. Um, I can't really tell what you're supposed to be, but I like it anyways. Thank you so much for even taking part in this. Uh, whoa, did you hear that? I kind of like gasped for a little bit. So unfortunately, I didn't have time to like sketch something ahead of time. So I'm just going to be working on a doodle of Link from Legend of Zelda because as you can see, this is gonna be somewhat Legend of Zelda themed. I wanna put this down here. And, um, I'm just gonna be talking about Legend of Zelda a bit, you know, because I just need to talk about something that makes me genuinely happy, you know, no, no drama or tea or whatever people say, I just need something happy. So if you are an artist, I know you have a project that you're not working on for whatever reason, procrastination, laziness, um, what other excuses have I come up with? I'll do, I'll work on that after I finish on this project and then you don't finish that project either. You know, you have something you have to work on, so just go grab that and start working on it. You can also work on your homework, you can clean your room, clean your bathroom, do whatever the heck you want. You don't have to be drawing, uh, but you know, if you want to draw, I'm drawing. Like I said, I didn't have anything to work on, so I'm just going to work on a doodle of Link and, um... I'm not going to get out of my comfort zone or anything. It's just going to be a bust that is facing the left. It's, you know, it's whatever. So please don't judge me for just kind of doing something comfortable, I guess. Um, so, Legend of Zelda. Hope you guys don't mind that I'm just going to ramble about that for this video. Legend of Zelda <laughs> is a series from Nintendo that came out in 1986 I believe I could be wrong and if I'm wrong the year is gonna be somewhere here but I never played a Legend of Zelda game until 2011 so 25 years after its first game uh, I knew Legend of Zelda existed but it just didn't really catch my attention even though I do like playing video games I, I mostly stick to Nintendo and at that time, I mostly stuck to, like, Mario Sunshine and Smash. What other things did I play? Uh, just, oh, Mario Party. You know, those kind of games, you know? So it wasn't like I was a gamer girl. I still don't consider myself to be a gamer too much. But it was just, you know, those super feel-good, just whatever games. Family games, whatever. I don't care. Mario Kart. Mario Kart was also a game I played. And... I had a friend on DeviantArt back in like 2009, 2008, I don't remember. His name is Alex, and I haven't heard from him in forever. After I left DeviantArt, I just never heard from him, which is fine because we weren't that close or anything, so it's not like a big deal. But he was really obsessed with Legend of Zelda, and that's kind of when I kind of started to under like become aware of it as a series. And I, I would see Link in Smash Brawl and whatever, Smash Brawl, was, I was already playing in Smash Brawl, so like, in Super Smash, Melee, Melee, whatever, like I, Link was a character and I knew of him, but you know, I just, uh, I just couldn't care about Legend of Zelda, and even when my friend Alex was super obsessed with Zelda, I could not really care less, I just knew it was the guy in the hat with a sword, and there's a fairy sometimes, and that's it, which fairy is right here, the hat is right here. Oh, I have a sword. Do I really have to go get it? I got the sword. <laughs> okay, I know I'm not drawing right now, but listen, you guys gotta have to, you guys gotta see the sword. It was $20. I got it for my anniversary. Ba-ba-da! 
I don't know if this is actually dangerous, but uh, look at that. I mean, it's not like a sword, it's like a freaking cake knife. I don't really know what to do with this, honestly. I don't know what I'm supposed to. I have an ocarina. I have a lot of plushies. I just, I have a lot of, I'm just kidding. I would never do that to you. I love you so much. And I hope to one day be financially stable enough to buy like an actual replica, like a hundreds of dollars of worth replica. So when that happens, you know I'll be making a video on that. Where did I put my pen? I shouldn't be twirling this. I don't know if this is actually dangerous, but mm -hmm. Whatever, it doesn't matter. This was a gift for my anniversary and I'm pretty sure he was hanging out with the girl he was cheating on me with while he bought this for me. But I'm keeping it, like I don't care what the backstory is. I love this thing. So anyways, Skyward Sword was my first Legend of Zelda game. Uh, the reason why Skyward Sword was my first Legend of Zelda game is because a gamer, a YouTube gamer that I was obsessed with started playing it. His name is Tobuscus. I don't know if he even does anything anymore. I, does he exist? I think he might still be uploading and he just doesn't do, you know, well because of the allegations. But at the time, those allegations were not out and he was playing Skyward Sword and I was, heck yeah. I was like, heck yeah. Uh, the thing that got me to play Skyward Sword was the art style. I adore the art style from Skyward Sword. It, you know, like the watercolor style. I love that. I really do. And, um, it's, it was just, it looked like such a fun game. The colors are bright and vibrant. A lot of the Zelda stuff that I saw beforehand weren't, wasn't as bright and vibrant. And I, you know, my art is so highly saturated. And I know, you know, when Waker and those games exist. But at the time, I didn't know they existed. So, Skyward Sword was just my introduction to how beautiful The Legend of Zelda universe could be and so yeah Tobuscus was playing Skyward Sword and I had a Wii at the time it was like my brother's Wii but you know it was like the family Wii I guess so I convinced my mom hey take me to Target uh, I think she paid for the the game or I might have bought it I can't remember who paid for this game to be honest I didn't have a job at the time I was still in high school um, I was a late bloomer to a lot of those kind of things. So yeah, I didn't have a job at the time. So she might have bought it for me. I don't care. Anyways, I bought Skyward Sword. Little did I know that Skyward Sword, uh, you actually need a specific type of Wii remote. So a normal Wii remote wouldn't work with it. You needed to get the Wii Motion Plus remote. Didn't know that. So I remember like running home, so excited to play Skyward Sword only to be greeted with that stupid like you need a Wii Motion Plus remote to play this game here's how you set it up and my mom was like yeah I'm not gonna take you back to Target we just came from there so I had to wait like another week like a full-on week I couldn't drive at this time it took me a long time to drive too because driving gave me a lot of anxiety so was not fond of driving but yeah uh waited a whole week Long story, I know, I know, I'm just, I just love this, okay, I just, Skyward Sword, listen, I know Skyward Sword is known to be one of the worst Zelda games, and now that I've played so many Zelda games, I kind of get it, but it just holds such a special point in my heart, guys, so, I became obsessed with this game, I would wake up early, and so that I would be able to play Skyward Sword for like 30 minutes to an hour before walking to high school. Which high school started like at 8 or something like that. So I... I woke up late to play a video game. Like that is so... I, I was obsessed with this game. I... I remember... One of my, like, my memories with Skyward Sword is that, so I used to play Skyward Sword in my mom's room because she had, like, the really nice big TV. And, um, and it was fine. Like, she was usually at work or the gym or whatever. She wasn't usually in her room. So it was fine for me to play in her room or whatever. I Why do I keep saying that? But <laughs> there was one time I was playing after school. Uh, she came home from the gym and she was like, okay, I'm gonna need you to stop playing because I'm home. 
and I was like, oh, but you just got home from the gym, right? So you're going to take a shower. And she's like, yeah, fine. I'm going to go take a shower. But when I'm back, like, you have to be, you have to stop playing because she had to dry her hair after taking a shower. And the only outlet that was available for the hair dryer was the outlet that the Wii was plugged into. And I was like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. And I happen to be playing in, playing in, I happen to be on the third dungeon of Skyward Sword, which was the Lanairu Desert. Is that how you pronounce it? Dungeon? And for some reason, this dungeon gave me such a hard time, guys. And I was stuck. And I thought, like, I would be able to finish this dungeon before she got back from the shower, but I was not able to finish it. And she's like, okay, you got, you have to stop playing. And I was like, okay, okay, let me find, like, a save statue. And, uh... I couldn't find a safe statue in time. Like, she was getting so impatient, obviously, because, like, I'm in her room playing a video game. And I, I just couldn't find a safe statue. And so she just unplugged the Wii from the wall. And I remember being really upset. I don't think I was that upset, honestly, because I was like, you know what? I'm just going to... It's fine. Like, I'm just going to redo it tomorrow. It's not a big deal. But, yeah, that's just one of my, like... One of my few memories playing Skyward Sword, I guess. I don't know. I remember I even tried to do Let's Plays. So I bought something to record my TV screen. And I recorded like two episodes of me playing Skyward Sword. But guess what, guys? Being able to do two things at the same time, such as play video games and talk and commentate, it, it takes a, some kind of talent. I was not able to do it. I was so bad at it. I think I had two episodes and like I had the audio and everything, but I didn't actually edit it. But uh, yeah, I never like released it or anything because it was bad. But I wish I could. I really wish I had that audio. I think it's on my old laptop that doesn't turn on anymore. But I would love to react to that if I still have it. Anyways, Skyward Sword. Long way of saying that was my first Zelda game. Uh, yeah, it's known as being one of the worst Zelda games in the series. And at first, I would get really defensive because, you know, it is my first Zelda game. It has a very special place in my heart. And I just didn't like listening to the critiques of it. But now that I've played so many other Zelda games, I'm like, okay, yeah, I kind of understand why it's so, you know, not considered a very good game. It's, it's very linear compared to a lot of the Zelda games. And you know, Zelda games aren't really the hardest, but God, Skyward Sword really holds your hand throughout the whole thing. Uh, like, um, like the companion character, uh, is it Fi or Fi? 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 I don't, I don't know how you pronounce her name. Why can I not draw his nose? I like her a lot, but after playing it, like, the, after the first time, I'm like, okay, I don't need any of this, you know? It's just a lot. It's a lot of her dialogue is not optional. And the world, the worlds, the levels of whatever areas are very linear. You can't really explore anything. There's nothing to explore. And I mean, not, you know, obviously not all video games are for exploring, but it definitely, Legend of Zelda feels like it should be a game where you're able to explore, I guess. I don't know. But, um, although there are a lot of things that are not perfect with the game, there's a lot of really good things about the game, such as the soundtrack. Like, it's all, it's orchestral, right? It's like live, a live orchestra uh, for the music. Um, the art style, I really like the art style. And to this day, Skyward Sword Zelda is probably my favorite Zelda. There's a lot of different Zeldas out there. And Skyward Sword, I just, I love her design. I think she is so precious and adorable. I love her. I love her bangs, her fringe, I don't know, there's something about her. I love her backstory with Link, I love that they are childhood friends, and I know there are other games where they are childhood friends, but just something about this childhood friend backstory is just different, I don't know man, it's just, I just love this Zelda a lot. I like a lot of the characters in this game, I like the character designs in this game, I guess. Um, I like Link's design a lot in this game. Who else do I really like? Oh, I like Girahim. 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 Uh, he was, you know, he's the first Zelda villain that I know of. And I love his character design. Oh my god. And I love his personality overall. He's so 
fun. He's such a fun villain. Who else do I like? I don't know. Just I, I like I like a lot of the characters. I did a lot of fan art for Skyward Sword, which, as you know, fan art is kind of rare for me. I don't like to do fan art too often. So the fact that I did a handful of Skyward Sword fan arts, fan art is great. Uh, it's it, it means something. <sighs> the the villains, the the bosses, aren't that great. Some of them are though. My one of my favorite. No, I, I think he is my all time favorite Zelda boss fight is in Skyward Sword and it is the what is it called it's in I think it's at the fourth dungeon I think um the 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 statue the giant golden statue like the colossus something I don't remember what his name is but the one that has a really scary like when you de defeat him he he has like this really weird sound comes out of him and it sounds like a child laughing that's creepy, but uh, he's my favorite, favorite Zelda boss battle, I think, of all time, I think. If I can think of another one, I'll remember it, but uh, yeah, great boss battle. Anyways, Skyward Sword, great, I'm sorry, I'm talking so much about Skyward Sword, and I think my second Zelda game that I've ever played was actually Wind Waker, and it was Wind Waker for the Wii U, so I, like I said, I wasn't that big into gaming or anything. So the fact that I even heard that the Wii, that Wind Waker was coming out on the Wii U, like it was all by chance. I don't even remember how I learned this, but I remember when I did learn it, I was like, oh, I gotta like look into this to know like when the release date is is due or whatever. And that's when I learned that there's gonna be a Wind Waker exclusive Wii U model. I don't know how to describe it. It's a Wii U that is design that has like a Zelda pattern on it. I don't know how I came across this like it was all by chance because I was not keeping up with any of this but I was like I need to have that Wii U. I did not have a Wii U at the time because why would I get a Wii U like nobody talked about that console at all but I somehow managed to get one. I don't know how but I did. I don't know if it was even on the release date. I don't know. And I use the Wii U almost exclusively for Zelda games. Like, there's not a lot of Wii U games that I own, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I played Wind Waker. I think that was probably my second favorite, I mean, my, my second Zelda game that I've ever played. And it is such a good game. Oh my gosh. I, I don't really have any specific memories. Uh, I remember, because it came out in 2013 for the Wii U. And that was a really, really rough year. Uh, my dog passed away. My Like, my first dog passed away. I went through my first heartbreak, but now now I don't really consider that my first heartbreak because I was like, I don't even know if that counts. <laughs> um, oh, my baby. It was, it was a tough year. So, when Waker coming out for the Wii U, that was absolutely, like, my go-to like, um, distraction, I guess, for that year. And, uh, yeah, I loved it. Don't have any memories with it, but it was great. And I had just started watching Game Grumps in, you know, late 2012, 2000, early 2013. And it was 2012. So they started playing Wind Waker for the Wii U, like, like, right then. And that, whew, that made me so excited. And to this day... Wind Waker, Game Grumps, gameplay of Wind Waker is one of my favorite series from them. It's just such a feel-good game. The uh, the art style, the art style is adorable. The colors are vibrant. The whole sailing in the ocean thing is fun. Um, gonna be honest, I don't remember any of the like side characters or background characters. Um, hardly remember any of the bosses and I'm not, that's not like a bad thing or anything I just I don't think it had as big of an impact on me as Skyward Sword did and other Zelda games you know but it doesn't mean it's a bad game because I honestly adore that game what is going on with this picture like what was I gonna say okay can we talk about that thing in in Wind Waker where Tetra okay spoilers okay so if you if you don't want to be spoiled 
skipped like two minutes ahead, but can we talk about how Tetra is Legend of how Tetra is Zelda and when she come when she becomes Zelda, she's white. <laughs> like she she had like either she was not white or she had some kind of tan because she's a pirate, so like she would get tanned, right? So why is it that she when when she becomes the princess or whatever, she's suddenly white? I don't know, that always bugged me. I just I know it's not really that important, but that's so weird, right? Anyways. Yeah, so Wind Waker, beautiful game. I'm pretty sure it made me cry at the end. Gorgeous, gorgeous game. Uh, the first Zelda game that I played that, you know, I fought against Ganon. He's such a such an iconic villain in video game history, you know. I can't believe I had to play. It was my second Zelda game where I, like, actually saw him for the first time. So, that's fun. But, yeah. Uh, Wind Waker, great. And, uh... It was the first Zelda game where I got to like experience a lot of the common Zelda game, not necessarily tropes, but like uh, the Great Deku Tree, Great Deku Tree or whatever he's called, was in that game. That was the first time I experienced him, I guess. Skyward Sword didn't have that. Um, a lot of the... Like the Triforce pieces? No, that was in Skyward Sword as well. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, like the mother and, and, and daughter aisles, right? Is that something? Whatever. Mother and child, whatever. I don't care. Uh, Wind Waker, great. I just, oh, sorry. I just feel like, I feel so bad because I'm not really drawing anything worth looking at. <laughs> Me whenever I draw literally anything, so... Wind Waker, great. That was a lot of my, like, college and, and high school era. What was my third game? I played... Uh, what's that one Zelda game that was... It was on the on the Wii U port or something. Oh, God. The one... The Minish Cap, I played that and I loved it. I can't really recall much from it. I really gotta replay it, but I don't wanna... I don't even wanna use my Wii U, so... Who knows if I'm ever going to play it again. I'm just going to draw Link with a very, like, pouty look for now. And if I want to change his face later, I will. But I'm just going to give him that mouth right now. His mouth is too small. I'll fix this up later, okay? But maybe don't expect me to fix it up because it's just a doodle. And I don't really care too much about this picture, honestly. Uh, what's the next game after that? The next game after that might have been Twilight Princess, maybe? And can I just say... Wait, was it Twilight Princess? It might have been... No, 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 no. I think... Ooh, it might have been Link Between Worlds, because I was on the 3DS. And I also played Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time on the 3DS. I never played like the original ones on the 64. And I'm going to be honest, I know I'm going to get judged for this, but I cannot play Majora's Mask without, uh, like, using a walkthrough. Well, for the main part of the game, I'm able to play without a walkthrough, but when it comes to, like, collecting all of the masks... Wait, no, no, sorry, it's not, not Majora's Mask, sorry, uh, Ocarina of Time, right? Majora's Mask? Oh my god. Majora's Mask, just kidding. That one I always use a walkthrough because I want to collect all the masks masks and also that game gives me so much anxiety the whole like you are timed constantly in that game oh my god it's so anxiety inducing and also I remember I was uh, I had trouble in the dungeon the ice dungeon I think yeah the ice dungeon so was that the Goron one I don't remember and I was having a hard time with it and I was running out of time and I had no choice but to rewind time and start all over. That was the worst. That was the worst time ever. That was that was terrible. So which Zelda or oh my god, that was such a bad mistake. Which Link should I draw? Like Breath of the Wild Link or like a Twilight Princess Link? I'm just gonna draw any Link and we'll see which one he looks like. I guess because I want to draw him with those 
bangs, those that fringe that he has in some of the games. I don't even remember where his hair parts, okay? So, yeah, there's just going to be some kind of link. I don't know which one it is yet, okay? Anyways, uh, yeah. Oof. But where's that Ocarina of Time? Jesus Christ. No, it is Majora's Mask, because that's the one where the moon is falling. Which one is Ocarina of Time? And why am I getting them confused? Ocarina of Time is way different, right? But why? Like, they're the same, but they're different. Like, the plot is different, but I know they, they just, like, reused. I forgot what they reused, but, you know, they reused. <laughs> Frick! I don't remember what the plot of... Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember now. I like both of the games, but... I feel like Majora's Mask just takes up more of my memory, I guess. Obviously, since I can't even tell the difference and I get them mixed up right now. And I am mostly thinking about Majora's Mask. Oh my god, what does, what link is this supposed to be? Hello? I should really look at a reference, but I don't want to. But this doesn't look like any link that I know of. Hello? Can somebody tell me what's wrong here? Oh my god, what am I doing? Maybe I should just draw Breath of the Wild Link, because I know I kind of remember what he looks like. I'm just going to give him this kind of fringe, okay? Let's just hope for the best. Let's hope that this is somewhat what he looks like, because god, I do not remember. It's been a long time since I've drawn Link fan art. Um, god, Majora's Mask. Oof, so much anxiety. I hate it. Like, I love it, but I hate it. Anyways... Oh my god, A Link Between Worlds is such a good game. If you have a 3DS and you've never played it, you have to play it. It's so good. The whole merging into the wall thing is great. Um, apparently, it's a lot, like, like it uses the same world as uh, Link to the Past, I believe. Which, I have not played Link to the Past. I know that's, like, a sin. Um, I think I do own it on the Wii U, like I, like, like the port or whatever. Okay, I'm recording again. Yay! Can you guys hear that, like, background noise? I hope it's not too loud. Um, ever since I turned 39 years old, I started getting, like, sinus problems, I guess. So now I have a humidifier. Like, I own a humidifier now. Um, so hopefully that's not too much noise in the background. If it is, let me know in the comments and I'll never turn it on in a video ever again. But oh my god, sinuses. So yeah, uh... Mm, a Link to the Past was a little bit hard for me, and I only played for like like 20 minutes. I am, for some reason, really bad at those older games. I can't really get used to the controls. So, yeah, uh, I, I gave up pretty fast on that game, but maybe I will try it again sometime. We'll see. I need to move all of this down. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm just really bad at the controls in older games. Hello? Where's my phone even? Who cares? Okay. So. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, I'm not really into... I mean, I really want to play Link to the Past because I know it's like a, a classic Zelda game. And just a classic game overall, I think. But I just really need to get good at games, you know? But anyways, Twilight Princess comes up, I think, after after uh, A Link Between Worlds. And fun fact, so I bought Twilight Princess for the Wii because it didn't, it wasn't out for the Wii U just yet. And I, I played it on the Wii, great time. And then like a few months after I bought it for the Wii and finished it on the Wii, that's when it was released for the Wii U. And I was like, wow, great, fantastic. Um, and I bought, I bought it anyways because it was in HD, it had an amiibo, it, you know, it had, like, something new, I guess. I think, um, like, the, was the thing new? Well, I know they had, like, the stamp collection, which was, like, whatever. I don't care about the stamps. Like, that's dumb. I don't, I don't need the stamps. But, uh, I got the Wolf Link Amiibo, which is great because you can use it in Breath of the Wild. And you can have a little Wolf Link with you. Midna is great. Okay, can I say Twilight Princess is one of my all-time favorite Zelda games? And I feel like that's controversial because I heard it's not like a very beloved game or anything. 
but just something about it so um, don't get me wrong like you know how i love really saturated colors and stuff twilight princess is not at all a game with high saturate it's very it's a very dark game and it's kind of dark to the point where it feels kind of forced you know like i think it came out right after wind waker right so they were kind of trying to cater to like the fans who were expecting a darker more serious Zelda game and then it just looked really muddy and stuff but um i mean i still liked it overall like uh, i like i really do like twilight princess link i do like that design for him um i like midna a lot she's one of my favorite companion characters she actually has a personality i actually cared about her um Zant was okay, uh, he was whatever, and Ganon was whatever. L Zelda in that game was whatever, she didn't have that big of a thing. I I don't much care for like the actual love interest of Link, I guess, like the girl from the actual village. Don't care for her. Um, I do love Mallow. Mallow? Mallow, like Mallow Mart, that really creepy baby oh my god i hate him and i also love him i love the the side characters in in twilight princess there are so many weird characters so like one of the characters um like the bug princess girl what was her name oh my god i uh like agatha or something right um she's not even that weird like she talks to bugs sure whatever but like i talk to my dog <laughs> so like are we really that much different you know like i can't judge her for that um and she's so cute oh my god i love her um i love her i love like the baby like creepy baby i love those um god what are they called the ukus right akas ukus <sighs> it's just it's hard because since there's no voice acting in most of these zelda games i don't know how certain things are pronounced and it's kind of a bummer but you know it's like bird creatures with human heads and they have like four boobs like they have like four nipples out at all times i love those creatures <laughs> they're so creepy and i adore them and oh my god i love that temple so much honestly twilight princess it was my favorite all-time zelda game it was my favorite Zelda game of all time. And I feel like Breath of the Wild is probably my favorite Zelda game. But I feel like it's on a different level because it's so different from all of the other Zelda games. Like, it doesn't really follow the same formula. So I feel like it's in a different... I don't know. It's just a... It's a different... Not league, but like... You know what I mean? Just like, it's, it's just... Out of all the Zelda games that follow that same exact Zelda formula, Twilight Princess is my favorite Zelda. I'm gonna say. I love that game. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love that game so much. I love the Zoras in that game. I love the Zora designs. I love many things. Great game. Love it. <laughs> um, anyways... God, I love Twilight Princess. I replayed that game so many times. And I really need to replay it again, honestly. I really do. Oh, this is so bad. How do I fix this? Hello, can somebody help me fix this? Oh my god. Farmer Boy Link. And then he has his shirt off that one scene. And he's like buff. <laughs> but he's like a kid. Like, like, I don't like Link in that way. I adore Link as, like, he's my son type of way. You know, I adore Link. I want to take care of him and stuff. And I want him to be my best friend. But, like, why is he so buff? I guess I get it because he's, like, a farmer boy or whatever. So I guess he's supposed to be, like, really fit and stuff. But, I don't know. It was just so funny. It was, it, and I do like Twilight Princess Link a lot because he does have a bit of a goofy personality in this one. He makes funny faces which means he has a great personality um the whole wrestling thing was so funny to me i feel like there's other parts where i was like yep this is this is the best link but i forgot which other things uh brother of the wild link is really good too so anyways sorry 
Oh my god. I mean, this is why you're listening, right? Or, you're probably listening because you just need some background noise for whatever you're working on. Um, and you, if you don't care about Legend of Zelda, like, that's totally fine. You don't have to care about Legend of Zelda. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what I was going, where I was going with that. Link? Oh god, I accidentally gave you a baby face. Why do I give everybody a baby face? Um, I think I learned the Hylian al alphabet. Hylian? Hylian alphabet from Twilight Princess? Is that the one I, I memorized? So if you look at my screen, I'm going to do some of the alphabet. So it's been a while since I've done the Hylian alphabet. That, but that's like A. Oh, wait. I already like messed up for the alphabet. Is that a B? <laughs> a, B, C, right? Okay. D. It might just be like this though. A, B, C, D, E. It might be down here. It's been a while, okay? But I know how to write my name. Ready? Ready? I can write my name in Hylian. Watch this, guys. You guys are going to be so impressed. Oh my god, but I already forgot how to write E. I think it's up here. Down here. What does E look like? Okay, whatever. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it here and I'm just gonna hope for the best because I could definitely be wrong. Um, I think that's an S. <laughs> I like how I'm like, you're gonna be so impressed and then I just forget how to write my name. <laughs> I think that's how you write my name in Hylian. It just looks like you can tell that's supposed to be my, my name. Like, those are, like, the right... Like, those letters look exactly just like, you know, the Roman letters. But, like... Like, what's a letter that... Oh, um, like this, I think? Is it just like that? Or is there something up here? Oh, God, I'm, I really need to practice my alphabet. But that's a Z... There might be something next to it and I, I just don't remember. My favorite is that this right here is an A and then uh, this is an M, I think. This might be gone from there. Like it might be just like this. But they're very similar. <laughs> uh, that's not even interesting at all. It would have been way more impressive if I could remember the whole thing. I knew, like, the whole alphabet really, like, really well in the beginning of the quarantine because I had nothing else to do. So I was like, I'm going to learn to write in Hylian. And then now I just, I haven't practiced it in months. Months. <laughs> so... Yeah, and there's another Hylian alphabet that I need to, there's like three or four alphabets, and I think the one that I learned was from Twilight Princess, I think, um, and there's like another one from, like Breath of the Wild has its own Hylian, and it also has like another alphabet in there, uh, it's just like, how am I supposed to learn all of this, you know, like I don't have to, I know I don't have to, but like I might as well. I wish I could think the same with like actual languages in actual real life, but I don't care about actual languages in real life more, you know, like as much as I care about Zelda. <laughs> Anyways, Breath of the Wild. I'll talk about Breath of the Wild for a little bit and then we're going to end it because, oh my god, this is just not going anywhere, is it? Breath of the Wild came out in 2017. I woke up so early. I worked at, in a retail store at this time, so I was going to get like 10% off or something and I, I was like, I remember I got there really early. I was probably in the middle of the line. We had to like get numbers because it was like a really small store so they didn't have like a large stock or anything. What number was I? Was I like number 10 or something? I don't remember. I wish I kept that thing but 
uh, they they took it anyways i got the exclusive not exclusive but uh like the the breath of the wild like box you know so it was like it came with like the 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 sheikah slate uh switch holder because this was the same day the switch came out it was a a title game or whatever that's called um a launch title game is that what it's called i don't i don't freaking know and uh, i was very excited it, it came with other things but i didn't really care about those things as much as i cared about the actual game itself i bought i don't remember when the amiibos came out but i have all of the breath of the wild amiibos i didn't have the champion amiibos until like last month because those were sold out like immediately and anywhere that you would look online they were like hundreds of dollars and i'm like i'm not gonna pay hundreds of dollars for these amiibos that i don't even use um but yeah so i finally have the champion ones i have all i have like the guardian i bought the nendroid is that how you pronounce it neandroid whatever that company is of um breath of the wild link Oh god, my computer is actually dying. Literally dying. Hello? Okay, you're at 19% battery. That's how I know it's been a long time, huh? Um, Breath of the Wild is honestly such a great game. It was really hard at first. So, because I was so used to the Zelda formula that I played Breath of the Wild for like one day. And it was so hard. Like, because it is one of, like... Zelda games aren't known for being hard, you know, so this did actually have a challenge and I was not good at it and it was so different from all the other Zelda games that I played it for one day and then I just stopped playing it for like a week or two because it was like so different and I couldn't wrap my head around it like it was just yeah and then eventually I was like I don't like this game it's so different but people were like talking about it non-stop and I was like I gotta play it like I have to be a Zelda fan I have to look into it like I have to give it a chance I played it again and then i couldn't put it down breath of the wild is so it's so good i i know like that's not a revolutionary take at all because it's it's very um it's a very beloved game now but oh my god so good the guardians those robot things if you've never played it but you've seen the guardians you've had to have seen the guardians that is the first zelda enemy that i was properly afraid of like i actually had multiple nightmares that included the guardians because they were so scary like because for the longest time like depending on how you play obviously but for me and my gameplay for i was not equipped to properly fight them for the longest time so anytime i would hear that song their like theme song oh my god my heart would drop and even now like if i play it again that theme song oh my god it's so good though the music for in that game is so good and there's a lot of complaints about that you know the music in that game because like there's not a lot of music it's not like the other zelda games where like the music is just such a big part of the experience um and not to say the breath of the wild soundtrack soundtrack is not a big part of the experience but it's a lot different like it's it's very like min not minimalistic but you know what i mean like a lot of the music for breath of the wild is mostly just silence in the songs you know because it's supposed to give you the feeling that you're like alone in this huge world and you're you know most of the population was killed you know it's post-apocalyptic pretty much it's so yeah um it's it's a great game i love the champions i love the side characters i love beetle i love prince Sidon. prince Sidon? oh my god prince Sidon is i love him so much he's a giant i oh my god i love him um oh my god i do love zelda in this one as well um i do love that she has like more of a personality than most of the other zeldas you know, besides, like, Skyward Sword and stuff like that. I love... I love a lot of things in this... In this game. 
I remember at first I was like, oh my god, why is he wearing blue? That is not the link color. And then now I'm like, I can only see him in that shade of blue now. It's like, it's it's so nostalgic when I see him in his green tunic. Uh, but do not get me wrong. I absolutely, when I got like the tunic, the like DLC tunic packs, you know, I'm, that's all I'm wearing for nostalgia's sake. But, uh, oh my god, my tablet is dying, so, like, I have to stop recording. But I'm not done talking about Breath of the Wild, okay? So, side characters are great. Uh, the story is fun. It is the most, like, free you will ever be in a Zelda game. I always have to do this. Oh, that was not as... I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, it is, like... It is, a what is it, open world or whatever. <laughs> and... Like, you can climb anything? Do you know how weird that is? Like, after playing Breath of the Wild for so long, I played... What did I play? I, like, replayed Twilight Princess or something, and I kept accidentally trying to climb everything. And I wasn't used to not being able to climb anything. I wasn't used to not having a hand, uh, a hang glider. I just... I don't know. Um... I just like the worlds. I like the nods to all the other Zelda games because it's like post-apocalypse and it's supposed to be after all of the other Zelda games. Um, I know the Zelda timeline is like this like very highly debated thing. Um, I don't care about the Zelda timeline. I do like to picture that all the Zelda games are connected. I just don't care about the order that they're in. Um, and <laughs> The whole like three different timeline things is so weird to me. It kind of confuses me to be honest. I don't know. So um, I, I couldn't care less about the timeline, but I do like the idea that they're like, it's, you know, like um, regeneration. What is it called? Re, you know, when you're, when you, when you're a person and you pass away and your soul comes back later and you're another person but you know what is it called i was gonna say regeneration but i don't think that's the term whatever um re rebirth re whatever i don't care um but yeah I, I like that whole concept and um yeah but what was i saying so yeah i like the whole like when you're playing breath of the wild you can find um, you can find like the the ranch. You can find Lon Lon Ranch, I think, or whatever ranch that is. I don't remember what ranch it is. Um, what's it, Lon Lon Ranch? You can find like the Temple of Time, Tower of Time, Temple of Time. I'm such a bad Zelda fan. My hat is just like not staying on, which is fine. Like whatever, but you know, I'm just gonna put it like on like a real hat, okay? But look how big this is one thing i learned from the pandemic and having to wear a mask all the time is that i have a really small head and no mask will fit me what else about breath of the wild um the world is huge and there's a lot to find but after you've played for like i don't know how many hours it becomes really repetitive like there's not a lot you know there's not like a lot to explore as in when you find something weird it's either going to be a shrine or like a kokiri seed or what is it called? Not kokiri. Is it kokiri seed? Korok seed. Sorry. It's korok seed. Um, you know, it's the same like five different puzzles. And um, so that kind of was a little lame because, you know, like, you get, well, how long did I play before that became boring like it like it took a really really long time for that to become boring but after that it was just like okay like the only things i was really looking for were the shrines i never 100 percented the game because i'm not gonna look for is it like 900 korok seeds or something like that a ridiculous number i'm not gonna look for all of those um but yeah i honestly if i could have a wish obviously i would wish for like a lot of money and stuff but, you know, like, if I had a ton of money, if I had, like, three wishes, and one of them was already super rich, and I had, like, um, two more wishes, one of those wishes would, you, would be to communicate with animals so that I could talk to, with my dog. But my third wish would be to erase 
my memory of Breath of the Wild so that I could replay it and experience it for the first time ever all over again. Like, that's such a weird wish, but like, I, my god. I just really love Breath of the Wild and I wish I could relive the magic of playing it for the first time. I'm gonna end it there. <laughs> I love Legend of Zelda. You gave me permission, so I did it. So anyways, um, where should I put it, like here? This is the finished product or whatever of the Link sketch that I worked on. It's not a great sketch. I just, I needed to work on something and I might as well work on a Link, okay? Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, this was just a very fun video and I'm, I have a headache now. But next week's video is going to be a video that I am kind of scary. But it's fine. We will we'll get through it. We're going to muscle through it. We're going to truck through it. We're going to truck on. We're going to do whatever. So, anyways, um... Also, I love Legend. I love Legend of Zelda so much that in college, when uh, when I took speech class, because public speaking is not my thing at all, um, I would get really, really bad anxiety to the point of getting stomach aches. Any time I had to do a speech, I would tell myself like just to have the courage of Link. <laughs> uh, I love. I love being able to love a fictional character so much that they like inspire you in real life. Uh, so yeah, so I just be like, be as be as courageous as Link. Like it, like I don't know if Link could do a speech, but like if he he probably could, right? He's like the he's like the guy of courage. So uh, the spirit of courage. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm like pulling. I'm like trying to look all cool, pulling out this thing, this like knife sword, and I have this silly hat on. Oh my god. Pew.